Okay, Jack, so you had an awesome paper last week where you got 78, so let's see how you do this week. Right, so that's correct. That's correct, but then you've gone and you haven't answered the question. The question's asking for how much discount. That's the discount. You've then gone on to work out how much he pays. Okay, so you lose a mark for doing more work than you needed to, really. That's good, and that's good for the page 11 that's lovely and that's great as well five marks for that page good 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 uh, good good all right that's correct that's wrong six out of 15 is right but it's not in its simplest form now you're allowed to use a calculator on this paper so use it, use the fraction button. Okay, if you wanted to work out these ones, if you put 10 out of 25, when you press equals, it'll turn it into a fraction in its simplest form. Then the SD button turns it into a decimal. So you can see there that 10 out of 25 is 0 0.4. And 6 out of 15, is two fifths. So you needed to write two fifths there. So one mark out of two there. So six, eight, nine for the page. Eight is correct. That's good. Seven marks there. You times each number by four, yes, but I want a word. That's not a word. Twenty seven forty five X. That should be Y take three. That is eight. And that is 48. Good. So 2, 1, 0, 2, 2. 7, 8, 10, 12, 14 for that page. Good. 45 is correct. 61.5 is correct. 59 is wrong. Okay, so you've put them in order. And what you'll find when you've got them in order is those two are the middle. They've got 3 that side and then 3 that side. So you have to, where you've got a pair of numbers, find out the halfway point. So 59 to 62 is a jump of 3, so you need a jump of 1.5, which is 60.5. So you haven't done enough of the method there. That's good. So 4, 6, Eight for that. I'll go through that one in class. Um, it's not the area that they want, it's the length, it's the distance perimeter. Uh, for this one, it is 150. You don't need to mess around with all this non calculator gubbins. It's a, not, it's a calculator allowed paper. Okay, what you need to do is you know it's out of 150, and Andrew gets 69 out of 150. Times it by 100 and that turns it into a percentage and you should be able to do that uh, so you haven't done enough there and nothing there so nothing for that page that's a bad page make sure you do I'll show you in class how to do that 107 is right you need to be able to answer that now we've practiced that in class and they're worth a lot of marks Right, your scatter is wrong. Some of those points are in the wrong place. And what you've done is you've gone across for some of them, the bottom and then up, whereas the age is always across. So you're gonna lose the marks for that. That's also wrong. Okay, the oldest chair is 80 and its value is 40. Uh, and no because the correlation is not positive or negative yeah okay that's fine so you get one there again for this one you don't need all that non calculator stuff you just work out what 18% of 2400 is then you take that off the next one watch the video clip how I've done that Okay, so I don't think this is as good as your last one, Jack. 
11, 16, 25, 39, 47, 50, 51. 51. Okay, so that's not so good. Um, it's an E. It's four marks off a D. It's about 19, 20 marks off a grade C. Now, there's lots of silly, careless mistakes you made in there that you can put right, but there's also gaps with things that you should be able to do that you left out. So it's important that you look at uh, the video clip of me going through them and making sure you can see how to do those questions.